Well, we're gonna let Miss Daphne and Miss Sugar Plum outside. So me and Ray took off right away this morning to pick up another owner's surrender. See, things you couldn't do if you were a human doctor. That's one of them. <laughs> Ponytails Refuge is a full circle of life shelter founded in 2014. As a full circle of life shelter, we take in any horse, mule, donkey, or pony, no matter their age, size, breed, or training. Regardless of their background, we have never turned an animal in need away. Even after 10 years and over 1,100 animals that have come through our gates, you just never know what's going to happen. These are the horse rescue tales from the tundra. So we are headed over to quarantine. Um, I believe they'll be coming out of quarantine next week, but today, this week, already, goodness. Um, but we're just gonna move some pastures around, let them eat the luscious green grass that's growing. Yay. All right, so we're gonna move Cher, Journey, and Bowie out of this pasture. They ate down all the grass growing in here, but this stuff out here is good. Look, even Joan's already eating it up. Okay, Stevie. Whatever. Stevie's coming with. Stevie's gonna go with Cher. Keep moving your butt, girl. Journey ran away and Bowie's being a boy. <laughs> Come on, Journey. Come on out, girl. There you go. We're gonna take the fence down here and Hopefully Fergie will just pass through. She's a bit harder to catch, so. Come on, ladies. Oh, honey, what you do? Look at that. Go ahead, heart. Yep. Oh, I'll move, Fergie. Go ahead, honey. That way. Thank you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, get the fence put back together. This is why we got lots of fencing to do. Yes, lots of fencing to do always. I'll let those ladies hang out. If we just had a gate here, yeah. Oh, that would be so nice if we just had a gate there. So Miss Sunny's got somebody here to see her today. So we're gonna go check on the showing and see how it's going. This must be the foot that she had problems with with the... Um, her right front right now is the one that's bruised. Okay. Um. Size for my grandson to see. Not tall and intimidating, that's for sure. <laughs> well, and he's constantly, like I said, you know, with my old mare. My old mare's at 14, 3, you know, 14, 2. But, you know, he's got... He can only reach up to here to brush her. Oh, <laughs> so otherwise, he gets his step stool and oh, he God. brushes her in. But, now that she went blind, he's he's gotten a little intimidated, and I'm like, but I don't want to get him. I want him to not be scared. Be scared, right? right. Now that he can't ride his own horse, because I mean, I lead him around a little bit, but he's used to getting on there, you know, and he just going. Well, she's one that you can get up there and just kick, 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 and she's just not gonna go any faster than what she thinks she should go. Oh yeah. Now I get on her, and yeah. you know she'll lope right off. She's like an old pleasure horse. He gets up there and just knows she's got a kid on her back. Yeah. And then she'll stand there, the combine will be running, you know, or the track will be running, and she's just taking a nap, you know, as long as he's up there. Sure. He's different with me. Hey, thanks, Sunny. <laughs> She is moving better. Then when they put shoes on her, she was a little better than this. Or... Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, not are... perfect, but definitely better. Oh yeah. Kind of hey. like you could be a grandma beer horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sunny, I think you're going home. You are going to go here forever home. <laughs> 
So it is a beautiful day out today on a Saturday. So we're gonna let Miss De Well, we're gonna let Miss Daphne and Miss Sugar Plum outside. Now that it's finally dried up a bit. Dried up, Daphne's got those clogs on and we don't want Sugar to get abscesses again. Yeah, she does. What do you think, Sugar? You haven't been able to be outside since you got here. Sugar are friends. <laughs> You're a free pony. There you go. <laughs> she looks good. Yeah. Okay. We're getting used to with those clogging. All right, Sugar. Let's see if you get more excited than Daphne. Daphne was just ready for the grass. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, Shady, you're getting a friend. You better be nice to her. You're free. Oh, fence. Uh -oh. oh, here comes Shady. You be nice, Shade. comes Walter and Fred. Not happy. <laughs> Shady was about tiny. I thought they'd be about the same size. There's a little guy. Oh, well, there was that lesson. Does it on that side too, sugar? What kind of fencing was she in before? Do you remember? Gotta stay away from the fence, the Shug. Trailer. Look how sound she looks. Look so. at you, pretty girl. She looks good. Yeah, <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> that white line, don't touch it. <laughs> Shady's looking at looking at her like, yeah, idiot. Daphne's just eating grass. Oh, and the oh, my friend Daphne. <laughs> Long time no see. It looks tiny. Okay. Enjoy it, sugar. So today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Janice. And we're working on something here. What are you working on? Well, since the horse already tried to make a door here, we'll make an actual door here, I guess. That was Envy's big butt. Yeah. Horses are very hard on building. <laughs> Let this 
sunshine. What do you think, hon? She scared her on the back of She's nervous. She'll be all right. I'm not going over there. You will. You'll learn to love it. What are you digging the hole for? We have to put a post here for the door to uh, latch against. And it'll hinge on the, the beam. The beam. Not easier than this when it gets here. Well, that'd be kind of tough. It won't work All right. Mo. I just want to make sure. I'm just going to take this off. Okay. Mo, come on. She's got to be in there too. Okay, whenever you're ready, just say, I said, of course, to the horse. I said, of course, to the horse. <laughs> Mo, I cannot get a photo like that. Mo. Okay, good enough. <laughs> back there. Check out the floor. Come, come. Come, come. Come, come. You got it, bud. Come. Good boy. Oh. Ray took off right away this morning to pick up another owner's surrender. His name is Fritz. He does have some DSLD issues from the sounds of it um, and his owner just had some financial changes so we're here to pick him up. We're gonna get him loaded and head back to the shelter. There you go. Good boy Fritz. Here let's close this door here yep, and get that slant on clip right there. So we just got done loading Fritz um, and now we're on our way back to the shelter. So we just got back. We're gonna get Fritz unloaded and get him into a stall for the night. All right, come on, Fritzy. Oh boy. Step. Step. Put it down on the ground. You got it. There you go. There. Good job. Ouchie. 
Yeah, there's friends here. Good boy, Fritz. Okay. Yes, sugar plum. Sugar plum. Uh, okay, how old is she? 20. 20. Yeah, she had a pretty big. She had never left the property before we had picked her up, so loading was a was an interesting time. But she kind of beat herself up, unfortunately. Yes, yeah, she did. She's super sweet too. Oh, that's why you named Sugar Plum. Hi, baby. Oh, hi. Well, hello. <laughs> she says, I love you now, too. Well, I mean, <laughs> I have that effect on him. <laughs> she is a cute little girl. Little poor I love No, I got Arwen. Good try, though. She doesn't need a friend? No, she has Peyton. <laughs> Good try, guys. Good try. And I can't ride two horses at once. Some I mean, do. some people do. <laughs> Add that to your workout. <laughs> oh, God. Talk about those quads. Stand on them. <laughs> yeah. She's strong too. Dang! This is like leg goals right here. This is fantastic. Okay, maybe not this, but it's she okay. Needs she needs a little weight loss. Just she's a bit. She's what? She need a little, needed a little weight loss. Hey. Mm -hmm. Weird. And a pony? <laughs> She's like, dang! <laughs> That's my butt. <laughs> if you were a little smaller, I wouldn't even need a bail. Fuck, yeah. Ooh. Girl, trailers are not that scary, honey. Her friend was on it already, too. And then she said no, so we took him off and just still no. Big scary box. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Hold my hand. <laughs> so her little booty is moving pretty good. It's pretty awesome. So I don't know if this stuff up here was from the flip or what. She's not talking. Hi, what you doing? Hello. Surprise, oh. other side. It's different. Man, you are stinking cute. Some mm -hmm. little girl needs to snatch you up. Well, we found some stuff. Good girl. Hello. Was it good? Yeah, you're a little stuck here. to wait for it to be right. So I actually, like mid thoracics right in here where she was most stuck. A little bit down here, but that's probably because she's not a young girl anymore. So we'll see what she did to her neck too, because I'm betting she did some good pulling as well. Pulling, fell into a fence, bumped her head, scratched her neck. How do you feel about your life choices now? <laughs> One star would not recommend. <laughs> Might do again. I'm <laughs> feeling cute. Might pull back today. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oof. Whoa. Ooh. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm 
but I'm distracted by this other horse. She does get distracted very easily. Ah. Well, we got a fart release. We'll go with that. <laughs> if not the front end. <laughs> Better out than in. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm over here. Usually, they wait till I'm doing a butt talk. I'm like, <laughs> the mouth is open Every time I'm behind the horse is when they choose to fart. Whoa. I don't, I don't know about that. Is she, I don't, hmm. That was weird. You're weird. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> You're weird, yeah. You got an eye bugger too. Let's get that out. You need a little kid to like braid your hair and love you. <laughs> She's so concerned. Her eyes I don't are just know about this. She says I'm trying, guys. Doing just fine. Confusion of pain ending and feeling good instead of. <laughs> it's just like, wait, that's backwards. This is weird. All right, baby cakes. Do not let me get my bail for you. Seriously, you're like two feet tall. This is, yeah, how tall are you? Yeah, I'm like <laughs> one and a half foot. <laughs> No I eating. I promise it's not edible. Some ponies disagree, though. I don't know, I got that. That was kind of dumb. She's like, yeah, it was pretty dumb. Oh, okay, boy, okay. Did something. Yes. Stop. You're fine. I feel better. She just lets me. She's like, okay, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Okay. She's done. She's a lot better than I was worried about. So that's fantastic. Perfect. She needs a little kid. Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. She's too cute. You happen to too. She is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is Hapatia. This is the one we were kind of just talking about that. Yeah. Uh, adopter's vet said she was neurological but didn't do the tests. Okay. Um, and they say it's noticeable when she goes downhill, like she like buckles up. <laughs> yeah, so. I didn't see it just now, but they sent us videos of it. Is it consistent? I mean, no. obviously not right now. Not consistent. No. Okay, any of the neurological stuff where it's inconsistent, those are usually ones that chiropractic can help. Yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's what we were for. hoping. <laughs> yeah, because, and really when you're looking at like orthopedic versus neurologic, man, it's hard to tell. It can be really hard to tell. So, well, let's get her in uh, my pooter and then we'll. Just looking at her, her right gastroc is a little smaller than the left. But otherwise, she looks pretty well balanced. You can see the difference right in here. Um, otherwise, she's pretty equal. Hey, baby cakes. Hello. She says no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about this. What are you doing? <laughs> Sam now a flamingo. <laughs> Are you prepared for the other one? So she has good resistance. Um, what we'll do is we'll actually walk her while I'm pulling on her tail. So we'll just go down here and then we can turn around. Yeah, she's a little goofy on that right. Okay, and flip. weak in the hind period, but she's not weak 
when she's standing. Um, and when she's walking, she's also planting and turning. We noticed that a little bit. Yeah. That yeah. Well, and it, she lands just a little goofy. Um, this is still back to the, well, we adjust or we see if that fixes it or improves it, and then we go from there. Because um, I can't fix a truly neurological condition. Mm -hmm. How old is she? 21. Oh, you look so good for your age. Girl, she says, oof, I'm so tired. That was a long way. Okay. Yep, so she'll be getting them done this week. Okay. Um, did the farrier note any abnormal wear? No, she had road shoes on the front. But. Okay. Because hmm. usually, if these guys are neurologic, we're going to get some, some abnormal wear, especially with that foot placement. Okay. So interesting, when she came up, I don't know if you noticed that she came like this, away from that I right didn't. side. So we'll try this on the other side. Oh, huh. Interesting. I don't know if you're just goosey. I'm sorry. I swear, I'm going super light. She's just like. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I'm so, you are being a very good girl. I'm sorry for goosing your patooskies. Just a little bit of that hip, hip cock. I don't know if that's just because she's, I'm sorry. I don't know if that's just because she's sensitive or what. So she's strong on her front. She's strong on her hind when we're just doing the tail pull, but she's goofy when we're walking. You don't look very concerned. She's like, ooh, it's not hay. Bait and switch. Now we're gonna get more kicking. Man, she's really two-dimensional horse. There's nothing wrong with that, darling. You're beautiful just the way you are. <laughs> Did she have any stumbling issues when you were riding her here? No. no. Hmm. Very fair footed. Mm. Yeah. Of course, if she's 21, if she's brewing something and then you get jostled in the trailer and that's enough to lock you up in certain areas, I've seen goofier things happen. Oh. Hi, what am I doing? I changed around my way here. I'm like, I, we're going tank top today. <laughs> you can still feel the breeze a bit. Yeah, with that. I'm moving okay, so I don't know. Maybe she thinks I'm a fly. But, repeatable. Ooh. I heard that over here. Yeah, that was gross. That was gross. Nothing? The nostril flares, like, mm, yeah. I'm not releasing that one. Ask the ground. Stubborn. Fine. Mares. Hey. Really? Yep. Stands weird. She's mm -hmm. yeah on that leg. Interesting. Well, and I've seen some goofy horses where they're just athletic, and they're like, "I'm going to stand like this," and that's supposed to be. Oh, these guys are neurologic. This is this is a big deal. Like, yeah, fine. Okay. So it's. I care about that weakness when we're walking, but it's also, 
if she can't engage, if things are stuck here and she can't engage that pelvis to actually pull against me, yeah, I'm gonna pull her over. Girl, I'm, I'm, oh, that one? She's such a mare. You're all right, sweetie. Thank you. Ugh. Ugh. Oof. Nothing yet? Eh. Gotta do better than that, doctor. Dang, girl. But she can resist the thrust going to, hi. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> She's like, all right, I'll give it to you. She's like, hey, do this one next. You missed this. Doing that side, we're now standing more square and she's not tilting in. And she may change that. That may just be why well, I happened to land like this, but will she, will she? Hmm? That was in her transverse. Huh? That was in her transverse. This guy over here. Yeah. The uh, the little wingies on the end of the lumbars. Hi. Yeah, all right. Oh, good gravy. <laughs> You're not getting away. <laughs> yeah, I just can't do the back and forth stuff. <laughs> oh. oh. Dang, girl. Let me fix that. Because that doesn't feel good. Oof. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Girl, you needed this. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was just a, Hi. <laughs> what did you do to yourself? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, that hurts. I'm yeah, that sorry. Hurt and she's still like. You suck. She's got words for you right now. Yeah, she sure does. She's gonna lodge a complaint with management on my way out. <laughs> this entire right side is locked up. Well, and if they, if she decided to, to cock that hip like she seems to do and they hit a bump, that's enough to tweak the back. Yeah, that just hurts to think about. Well, you think about how easy it is for us to just step funny and all that mm -hmm. the smallest thing. So who knows? She's not talking. Bloop, 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 bloop. Sorry, I should not play with my patients like that. What did you do? Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> I do that to my dog all the time. It's the things that you need to do. do. Do you need a replay? Yeah, I do. Okay. Nice bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, <laughs> things you couldn't do if you were a human doctor, that's one of them. You really have to complete them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my doctor played with my fat. I think it's the way she's holding it more than anything. Yeah. Yeah, because the actual joint is feeling really nice. Okay. So that's something, but she, <laughs> darling, your thighs are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Hmm. Should we walk her? Um, I'm gonna do her neck first, but I wanna okay. test something, which I might get kicked. Um, hopefully not. Well, I'm gonna back up. Yeah, don't get kicked. 
Easy, honey. So iliopsoas is one of these internal muscles that can get pulled, be really tight, and that can throw off the entire pelvis. Um, you are a good horse. Thank you, darling. So one of my concerns would be, oh, was that good? Okay. One of my concerns would be, if we're tight, on this iliopsoas, that's going to tilt that pelvis, and we're not going to maintain the adjustment, but that could be where everything started as well. But she is a little tight on this left one. You are a very good horse. She was making the little girl pretty happy. She was upset, so we are hoping maybe we could figure it out. I hope so. I don't know, and these are some of the weird things where it's, well, did the iliopsoas tilt the pelvis, or were we, I'm stuck on one side of my lumbars, and that's tilting my pelvis, and then the muscle contracted secondary. I don't know. She's not talking. Um, but you correct what you see and mm -hmm. see what you come up with. The other part of this is, if we're going downhill, think about how we brace. We lean back, we tuck our pelvis. She couldn't tuck her pelvis. So if she can't tuck her pelvis to brace, then she's falling sure. as she goes down the hill. And she's relying on those front legs to brace her, but her back end is just kind of... Dragging with her. Yeah. yeah. So that would explain that then. Yeah. Good to know. So it's... No, we'll see what comes out in the wash. Because yeah, I said I was only going downhill. Yeah. She had problems. Well, and part of this is also that change in that gastroc. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that change in that gastroc, you can, you can get those kind of changes suddenly, but that takes a very specific kind of neurologic condition. And you see a lot of other stuff before you would see that, but you can also get it from disuse. So you can have neurological conditions that are causing a slow change in that muscle, but it's so much more common to have where we can't move so we can't engage that area. And then it's disuse atrophy. I'm not using this muscle, it goes away. Did you Ooh. see your eye completely like... <laughs> Crap. <laughs> not doing it. You are all kinds of mess. Hey, where are you going? I'm not done with you. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Peace out, people. Okay, we're done. That's it. You're not done yet. Let me fix the rest of you. <laughs> mm, not impressed. Still lodging a complaint. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. No. Mm. Still not talking. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Oh, not that bad, kid. I would be amazed if your head were on straight with the rest of the craziness that was going on there. I know, that's weird, isn't it? I didn't do anything. Oh, yeah. She says, oh, no. <laughs> that was really anticlimactic. She says, yeah, I know, I agree. <laughs> That's good. Stop. Really? Mm-hmm.
That was also pretty anticlimactic. Hey, what do you think? All right, well, let's see. What we got? You wanna walk her outside and then we'll just do the whole length of the barn? Yeah, still turning. That, and it's occasional where we do eat here. Mm -hmm. So, better. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna do the other side. Better. That I was gonna say that seems better yep. that way. Okay. Um, and then she's like, wait, you're not pulling anymore. <laughs> um, grass. Let's see what comes out in the wash. Um, and there's nothing to say that we don't have more than one condition going on. But it seems odd that she was perfectly fine here with no stumbling, and then we suddenly developed a neurological condition in the trailer. It's much more likely it's injury. So, we'll see. Yeah, you just need to get squared away. Perfect. Well, I'm glad you got a hold of her. I, I was like, oh, I gotta get you her number. <laughs> like I see her, I spend all day Tuesday, Wednesday with her, so I see her every week. We're still having Dave take a peek at Hapatia here. Easy girl. You don't know, nice. Mm -hmm. Man, I just got adjusted. <laughs> Feels good though. She moves normally. Moves. She moves. She moves. Mm -hmm. All right, you're done. All right, perfect. So, Mr. Fritz. Got some DSLD going on. Yeah. He's been dropped like that for how long? His whole life, who knows? Don't know. Owner, previous owner, he didn't say. Since she's had him, I know that. Since she's so had him, but like I... Years. Pretty much been a pasture pet then? No, she was riding him, she said. Okay. Stand loose. <laughs> well, I'm going to say he's plenty he's well chunky, loved. Yeah. Hi, bud. No swollen lymph nodes. Hey, how do you? Oh. Color looks good. We were told anywhere between 21 and 28. He's in his 20s. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> He's not 28, I doubt. But then again, I saw. A known 32-year-old horse earlier today in Florida's teeth. He wasn't missing a tooth, and he looked like 24. <laughs> so sometimes they surprise you. Yeah. Lift up feet. There you go. Good boy. There you go. Oh, good flexion. Your backs. Have you picked up his backs at all? No clue. Come here. Come here. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. easy. Oh. 
he's a draft. <laughs> you pick him up like pick it up. Yeah. That was better. You want to be good. The hawk swollen on this one. On his left? Like this one right here. Oh, yeah. Not hugely, but it's a little more swollen, and I think that's probably what's hurting him to pick it up. There's some fluid in that hawk. So did you see how he yeah. lifted up like this? He's trying not to bend that hawk as much as he can. He's fine with his hip and stifle, but he doesn't want to bend it this way. So, you know, it'd be an option is to shoot an extra of that hawk and see what, I would struggle because you probably can't fix it, but then you at least know what making the pain. And I always say, if you shoot a, of that hawk, shoot one of that hawk too, so we got both. Well, up next is Walter. He's a... Uh... Oh. Return from an adopter as well. Would you just lean when he left? No. He was he was teeth. thin. That's what but I thought I did his teeth. Yeah. And they had his teeth done again. Hey. They said. You're gonna have no teeth. How old is he? Sixteen. Roughly. Okay, he just has some dirt on his points like he's been lying down. Yeah. Normal horse amount. 8.2. You're just skinny, dude. Mm -hmm. He's not good for his backs. Not typically. You can try it, but he likes to kick out. You kick out? Well, he's not very stable on his back end. That's why I was pushing him. He's like, let me try. Lack of muscle or? Well, uh, he's, he's, that's what I don't know. Is he weak on his back end? Is it just from muscling lack? Is there some neural insufficiency down the back? Um, doesn't really cinch you at all on his back though. Yeah, like, we talked about how he lost all the weight of these things. That seems good, though. I also mentioned that they did his teeth again. Yeah, he can't eat grain the same as like, like he drops it. He can't eat grain? He can't eat the grain? He can, but he drops, I'd say, probably 75% of it all over the floor. Huh. Just Is he missing teeth. a lot of teeth? No. Mm -mm. No, he, he just had a few points. Okay. When you did his teeth the first time, there were just a few points, and then they got him floated again, and still water said the same thing. There were just a few sharp points. Nothing no. catastrophic or dramatic. Huh. Oh. He's oh. only middle-aged. Yeah. Just kind of wonder. No loose stool? No. These guys tried to do run the poop sample, though, and they said it was so dark. Too dark that they couldn't mm -hmm. run the poop. I'm just kind of wondering if he's, like, got cancer. If he has cachexia or there's some reason he's losing weight. Did we run blood work on him? Yeah. And again, no, I we didn't. Okay. He did not look so horrendous the first time. Again, there's two options. We run our blood work now or we give him a week when we, or a week or two when, when we know he's being fed well and well managed. He's been back how long now? Yeah, I mean, we could wait tape him quick and see if he's gained anything. He's yeah, let's, back two weeks. Like let's do yeah, that. He was at nine let's check his weight. That's just kind of what I'm wondering is if he's got some under, <laughs> underlying like GI condition that would be causing this, like I said, either. You know, if it's black like that, is <laughs> there lymphoma or would be high on my list? Yeah, my thought instantly went to bleeding. Yeah, stomach ulcers. But again, very high, strong boy. Yeah. Or you could do. He's not like real. Since you like a stomach ulcer, but no, he's not. Well, I'm not saying they all have to be, but. This way, just kidding. 
so we've gained a little. Nine sixty. Because we were here before, and now we're here. Hmm. You gained a little. Yeah. We're at nine like sixty now. What? Sixty. Yeah. Yeah. You know, two things. If there is a bleeding ulcer, you know, he, he might be low, so just getting a hematocrit. Um, you could just do the hematocrit, or you do a CBC where you get a count and maybe smear to look at for abnormal cells. I'm just throwing out options. You could run a chemistry. My bet would be a chemistry will be normal, but there's a chance maybe he's got liver, you know, sclerosis or any liver issue with some of these horses that lose weight have a liver issue. I'd be curious to at least run a CBC if not a chemistry, you know. You're 30, 40 bucks into a CBC and it at least gives a rule out if he is ble losing blood, we'll find out with like an ulcer or something. Why don't we do that? Yep. Sure. So Dave's putting some stuff away. Ray's headed over to grab Credence and he's losing his boy berries today. Hey, I got folks here again. Yeah, you're not real good for folks. You're all right, Credence. There you go. Not too bad. Only goes up to you, that's the problem. Where I gave you. <laughs> For little guys. <laughs> Enough, he could be wobbly, not laying down sleepy, but just wobbly. Maybe I don't think I'm supposed to be getting wobbly, dude. Not lunging. Not wobbly at all. I was gonna say. Like, you wanna see me do a circle? That's what I'm like. That's what I'm like. Not helping, boys. Yeah. Oh, I'm even going to get a little trot. Stop. Oh. Yeah. We're going to go another pole. Oh, no. You know, I had good blood flash. But... You did. Quite a bit. I'll double check it. Is that two? Good night. Now get sleepy. I'm going to double those with the three men. Ketamine before they're a little wobbly, then they sometimes do this like they go down harder. <laughs> they will go down. <laughs> just go down harder. Not interested in moving around now? No more lunging. <laughs> yeah. my, my friends have turned into shirts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were relaxing a little bit. <laughs> Yep, there it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, you have a fun poke. Ooh. Whoa. It's for your own good, bud. Just like the rest of them. Like five already, right? Yeah, I think they're all just kind of waiting for this part, so. <laughs> just lay down, don't come over here by all of that stuff. Yeah. Got two? Like I said, I felt 99% sure he had them last time. It was just, the one was smaller, but the one doesn't look that much smaller. All right, we're taking both of them, buddy. All right, bud. Clamp off, but I'll leave it there for a second longer. You are all done. Success. You waking up now, buddy? Hi. His tongue. <laughs> Guys, you'll never believe it. 
your phone. <laughs> You're holding your head up. What do you think? Good morning, Sleeping Beauty. This is what you guys do to me. I was lunging. Yeah. Next thing I know, I'm on the ground. <laughs> hey, Mr. Credence, you gotta come in a stall for tonight, buddy. He's at Yurahua, Repeat, please. <laughs> Slow and steady. <laughs> Got an audience, buddy. Yeah. All right, you go ahead and wake up a little bit more. 